Hi, this is Dave Weber, and in this episode, we're going to talk about method number five for adapting lenses, type C and type D screw mount lenses. They're going to feature my C and my D mount lens. My C lens in my left hand is made in England. It's a Taylor Hobson 1 inch f1.5 C lens. And my D lens is made in Japan. It's a it's a Kinotar wide angle 6 millimeter f1.9 lens. These two lenses have some similarities. For example, they were both used in movie projectors like these. Another similarity is they're both quite small and they're not that sharp. They have fairly low contrast and some of them produce a very interesting swirly bouquet. Both of them use somewhat similar adapters that look like these. They typically cost about 10 US dollars and they do not have any electrical contacts on them. They both attach to the camera in the same way. You take the adapter, the screw mount lens, you screw it into the adapter like this, and then you simply attach the adapter's bayonet to your lens, like this. They both have a fairly short flange distance. 17 millimeters for the C and 12 millimeters for the D. Now with short flange distances like that, you would never want to use a C or a D lens on a DSLR camera with a mirror in it. It just wouldn't work. You only want to use a C and a D lens in a mirrorless camera like this Fuji X camera. Finally, if you look at the end of them, they project a really small image circle onto your sensor. And it's such a small image circle, I would not ever recommend using a C or a D lens on a full frame camera of any type. So don't use them on a full frame camera. Let's look at some differences between C and D lenses. C lenses were used in 16 millimeter projectors like these. D lenses were used in 8 millimeter projectors, a little smaller. The C lens has a diameter on the screw of about 25 millimeters, while the D lens, type D lens, has a diameter of 16 millimeters. Now, the D lens will vignette very, very vigorously, very poorly on an APS-C camera. Look at these photos. See how much the D lens vignettes on the APS-C camera and see how the C lens vignettes just a little bit, but much, much less. Let's talk about the availability of adapters. I've got this, this chart here that I've prepared ahead of time and look at all of the mounts that the C type C lenses come in. Pentax Q, Nikon Z, Nikon 1, Fuji X, Canon M, Sony E, and Micro Four Thirds. All of these are mounts that are available for your type C lens. Now these, the flange distance is less than the flange distance of the C lens, so you certainly would have infinity focus on these top three lenses. The bottom ones, the flange distance is greater than the C adapter's flange distance, and you would wonder, do you get, do you get infinity focus, focus at infinity on these cameras? Well, the answer is yes, you do on most of them because if you look closely at the picture I'm posting here of the C type C screw mount lens mount, you will see how it's recessed a little bit and these mounts are recessed an appropriate distance so that you do get the lens closer to the sensor and you achieve perfect focus at infinity. 
Now, your D-Lens, there is only one single adapter that's available for your D-Lens, and that is for the Pentax Q, which is a um, 12 megapixel camera that's about $200, and it has been disconnect, discontinued. So if you have a D-Lens, the only proper mount that you can buy and attach to it is for a Pentax Q camera. And, but I have found a way that you can uh, come up with a makeshift way to attach D lenses to your C adapter. Now, if you go to the hardware store, it, you can find a lot of, of, of rubber gaskets and rubber caps like these. And if you're lucky, like I was, you'll find one of these rubber caps that fits perfectly, look at that, on the end of your type D screw mount lens. And if you put that rubber cap on the end and you insert it into your, your C mount, look at that, it's a perfect fit. All you have to do is take a razor knife and cut the end off of the cap and then you are going to be able to insert your C, your D lens with the C mount adapter into your mirrorless camera. So that's something you might want to look into if, you've, if you want to use your D mount lenses on a camera other than a Pentax Q. As far as cost and availability goes, uh, the D mount lenses cost about oh $100 US dollars and I looked on eBay and currently there's about a hundred of them for sale. As far as the C mount lenses go, uh, they cost about $200. This one actually cost me closer to $300 and I looked on eBay and I found today that there were oh about 500 C mount lenses, type C lenses on eBay. Now, in conclusion, would I recommend C or D uh, type screw lenses to you? Um, as far as the D mount lenses go, definitely not. I would, I would never recommend to anybody you buy a D mount lens. C mount lenses, maybe. Uh, they can make uh, nice images, and in the resources section at the end of this episode, I've got a link to a uh, uh, website that I call Sea Lens Photos with Wow, and that's a gallery of photos taken with sea mount lenses, and they're really spectacular. Another reason why I don't highly recommend C-mount lenses is there's a long learning curve to uh, learning how to use one of these. Uh, boy, it took me hundreds and hundreds of, of photographs to really uh, feel confident in, in my C-mount lens. So it's a long learning curve. You can't use them on full frame. Uh, you can use them on micro four thirds. Uh, as far as app C sensors go, it's kind of borderline. You get a fair amount of vignetting even with the C-mount lens. Uh, you can get some very interesting bouquet. So if you're a bouquetaholic like I am, you might want to try type C screw mount lenses. They're tiny and you can occasionally find them at a pretty good price. So overall, I guess my opinion is don't, don't use D mount lenses. Maybe consider C mount lenses. Try a cheap one, see if you like it. They have sometimes a very interesting artistic rendering and you just might have fun experimenting with C-mount lenses on your Micro Four Thirds and your App C mirrorless cameras. We'll see you in the next episode.